Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a simple, easy recipe to make your own homemade stuffed hot cherry peppers with provolone and prosciutto. And these are so good and so simple that if you want to pickle them and jar them and all that, be my guest, go ahead. Increase the volume of the ingredients and make a lot of it and bottle it put it in bottling jars but they don't last long enough to bottle them in my view because they're so delicious so come on and let's get into it so for today's recipe we're going to need some hot cherry peppers that are cored like this i got these fresh from the farm a local farm nearby and i had about 15 of them that i cored up and also what i did was i cut some provolone cheese into squares and wrap them with a half a slice of prosciutto actually it's a half of a half of a slice so that looks like that pretty much all you do is take the wrapped cheese stuff it inside the pepper and again and again then you set these peppers inside a container of your choice and I set them in there like that. Drizzle some, actually I use vinegar first and then olive oil as you go along. You just continue to stuff them, put them in the container, drizzle some white vinegar, drizzle some olive oil and then season it with the seasonings of your choice. I like to use black pepper, Himalayan sea salt and some, or Himalayan pink salt and some Italian seasoning along with fresh garlic cloves. I set it inside the container, put the lid on it, drizzle it, well first drizzle it with more olive oil and vinegar. Put the container on, put it in the fridge and have it for the next day as an antipasta. People love it. Anyway, that's pretty much as simple as it gets. Hey, you guys, we're back. It's 24 hours since, since I made these hot cherry peppers, stuffed them with prosciutto and provolone, set them in the fridge for 24 hours, and now we're gonna try them out. Wait there. Okay. So here is a sample. Uh oh, one of them lost their filling. Here's what they look like. And here's what they taste like. Ready? One, two, three. Hmm. Listen. Wow, got a kick. And I took a green one. The green ones aren't supposed to be as hot. It's a simple recipe and um, try to get some hot cherry peppers from your local store. Chances are you'll still be able to get some. Try it out. It's a really delicious antipasta. Uh, at last night I ate three of them with a cauliflower sandwich then and a salad. It was perfect for a dinner. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. See you again. Over and out, chopper now and see you in the next one.